Hello everybody, my name is Corbin from Zoco Marketing and in today's video we are looking at the brand new TikTok uh, Pixel. We're going to be installing this Pixel today on a site um, and we are going to be doing this through Google Tag Manager. Um, if you have a WordPress site or if you're not familiar with Google Tag Manager, I probably will be doing a tutorial on how to install this through WordPress as well. But today we are going to be installing the Pixel through Google Tag Manager. Um, now for those who are not familiar with what this Pixel will do, this allows you to track um, visitors who come from your TikTok ads campaigns to see who's coming to your website um, and different things like that. So it's definitely something you will want to install if you are getting ready to spend some money inside of the TikTok ads manager. So we're going to jump right in. We are inside of uh, TikTok is calling this the ads manager. If you if you notice the theme throughout this video, you'll notice that they basically have named everything the same as Facebook, which does make it um, kind of easy to, uh, to know all the names of things. So we're in TikTok ads manager and we're going to go get the TikTok uh, pixel. So we come over here to assets and then we have event right here. And uh, for most people, I imagine you will uh, be getting the website pixel. If you have an app, this is where you would pull um, that app from. But we're gonna hit manage right here. And simply create pixel. Um, you're gonna have to agree to these terms and services. All right, so we give this pixel a name. We're just gonna call it TikTok pixel one. And for Google Tag Manager, we're actually going to click Install Pixel Code by Third Party right here. Uh, and then we're going to hit Next. As you can see here, it says this includes partners like Shopify and Google Tag Manager. <clears throat> and then hit Connect. And this is very interesting. Instead of in in installing the code manually, um, it's going to walk you through and actually connect straight to your Google um, Tag Manager account. So we're going to go through and connect this now. Connect to Google account. <clears throat> and now it's going to have me sign in to the account that I need for, for the account that has the Google Tag Manager access that I'm looking for. Allow. Okay, and then it's going to pre-populate in <clears throat> the containers that I have. You can drop down and change the containers if you need to. Make sure you are in the right, the correct um, uh, container and workspace that you want this tag to fire in. And then we are going to hit next. And now our Google Tag Manager has been successfully linked. Um, and I've already downloaded the TikTok Pixel Helper, but if you have not, you can click in here or Google TikTok Pixel Helper. I don't have a hard time saying that. And up here in the top right hand corner, you can see this little um, blue box. I'm sure later they will have a better logo for uh, this pixel helper because it right now it just kind of looks like a blue square up there um, so we're going to hit complete and now we're going to go back to our website to make sure that this pixel is firing correctly okay so here we are at our website and now all we need to do is simply hit on the little um, TikTok pixel helper <clears throat> and we can see on this page i can find one pixel uh, it doesn't really give you a green check mark or anything fancy like Google Tag Manager or the Facebook Pixel yet, but I'm sure it will get there. It does show that um, we have zero events firing, which makes sense because we haven't set up any events, but the actual page view pixel is installed correctly. So that is how you install the Google, or sorry, not Google, the TikTok Pixel onto your website. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want some more videos like these. Thanks, guys.